Hog. 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 Going whole hog. Ah! <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Mike Check 95 along with my cohort for this video. Harvey Beard Man. And as you guys may know, we have been covering the old RDW content that I made the announcement about four or five weeks ago. I was only aware of this in the past five minutes. I'm going to be taking each of the RDW segments and then segueing into like a, a post commentary about what had happened in that section of RDW. Like for this instance, this is the pre-RDW days, aka we had no idea what the fuck we were doing, aka we could have gotten arrested at the creek beds in Coffeville, Kansas. <laughs> AKA, we were still in high school! <laughs> this is before the idea of RDW, even though I now kind of tie it with the history of Red Dust Wrestling because it kind of, I feel like this kind of sparked what it could have been if we started back in 2011. 2011. Thanks, I didn't feel old enough. Trust me, I forget how old I didn't old know you were bringing me here. I, I, like, I, oh, man, when I was, oh when God, I was editing this, throw I was, rocks at each other and you're fucking... <laughs> When I was editing this, I was trying to remember when the first match was, and it was the same day we went to go watch Priest in theaters. I remember that. That was a good movie. And I checked, it wasn't, but it was. I checked the release date, and it was 2011, so I'm just like, oh, God. Disgusting. So, there's going to be some parts that he may not remember because his memory has kind of gone to hell over the last few years. Which I have depression. That, that is... <laughs> <laughs> that is his. I'm just kidding. That that that, it's fixed. that is his um, explanation that he can he can choose to go into whether or not whenever he wants. Yeah, I'm he gonna use that as my get out of jail free card. Your your crutch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first match, of course, was the Battle for Leadership. Do you remember any of the build up before that? Nope. Well, no. I mean, sort of. I remember uh, Richard having uh, kendo sticks. No, whatever the fuck they were called. And pointing them at the camera, but those were my short sticks from karate. Yeah. Um, so to kind of start it off, we not we I created a group on Facebook with just the four of us: you, me, Christian, and Ricky Joe, called the MEM, which was ah, a yes. horrible spinoff of the actual faction in Impact at the time, called the, the Main Event Mafia, the MEM. But we were called the Menacing Evolution Mafia. I don't know where that name came from. I never got any thoughts as to what everyone thought of the name. I just kind of threw it out there and I said, Why is it been a thing of a losing mafia? Whose idea was it to do the, the fight in the creek beds? Was it mine or Christian's? I, 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 depression. <laughs> I, I want to say I want to uh, say it was mine because I was the one that Sawyer was... Sawyer was the one that was obsessed with... Uh, Kirk Betts being a top. A top. He was the one that kind of showed us the location beforehand, so we had the location to begin with. Well, because we had uh, had uh, sword fights there. Yeah. Wooden stick. Wooden sticks and shields. I mean, it was more like logs that we had someone carve into the shapes of blades, but... Fun fact, you never knew that we actually did sword fights at a creek bed in our hometown. As far as the viewers are concerned, we never did. <laughs> and um, so we had the location. And then I made the group because the four of us were some form of a fan when it comes to wrestling. Like, Ricky Joe was a fan since, like, the 1990s. I was a fan since 2003. You had you had just started because it was right after the CM Punk stuff. Oh. And no, I... Christian was a fan... Because he was a fan too, but he th I think he kind of just not paid attention to it anymore. So basically, the only two people that actually watched it religiously was me and Ricky Joe. So and you just started. I, well, I couldn't because I couldn't. I didn't have access. No violence on the TV. And so that was the other thing. And then the creation of the names. There was Venom, Harvey Beardman, or in this case was Beardman, Lumberjack, and Morticious. You were Beardman at first, and then it transitioned into Harvey Beardman when we actually started the league. Interesting. Like RDW. Well, I think I well no, I we we did I, I think we didn't really confirm the full name for your character in wrestling until we got to that because originally it was no, just of course we did because I had it for my Xbox name. Yeah. Um, the only thing I kind of wonder is like why did we spell spell the names awkwardly? Because with Lumberjack, it's spelled Lumberjack, but the L, J, and K are capitalized. 
I don't know why you're asking me. I was the only one that spelt their name I, normally. I, I'm not asking you. I'm kind of just exp explaining this to you to kind of like get some feedback Did on like why the hell to do this. Did you not that comment in the form of a question? And then I had your name spelled normally as Beard Man, but the B and the M were capitalized. Well, that's all right. That's like Spider Man. Uh, but there's no uh, Venom was spelled spelled weird, but it was it, it was. The V, N, and M were capitalized, so it was V, lowercase, N, lowercase, M. I think that that was just, uh, you know, a sign of edge at the time. <laughs> I mean, maybe. It's like, XX, Monster Killer, XX, but, like, the M and the K and the two L's are capitalized. It's I mean, hard to explain if you weren't there. If the if, and then there was Morticious, Ricky Joe's name, Morticious. Every letter was capitalized except for the two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if it, I will say, give credit where it's due. When it came to like character, like creativity, and like putting more, I guess, effort into the character, it's probably Ricky Joe because he actually somehow put six to twelve gimmicks into one character. I, I mean that that takes kind of creativity. You were just a guy who was like a, a bearded superhero. I mean, if that's what Beardman was or is at the time, at the time, uh, lumberjack was a guy who wore a flannel. Because you, when you envision a lumberjack, you see a flannel. Well, we probably if if. if like, I, all of us picked our names. Like, he picked Lumberjack. He probably would have carried an axe if we had let him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into that. And then I was Venom, the leader, who had turned depressingly evil. Because I went back and watched my promos while editing the promo, and it was just me sitting in the corner of my bedroom at my parents' house wearing a black hoodie and just black clothing, just like... I'm gonna win this match. You know. I'm awesome. <laughs> like I'm evil, evil people do. <laughs> uh, like depressing evil. Because you look at it and you're like, this is supposed to be a bad guy, but it's it's depressing. It's like, it looks like a cry for hell. <laughs> and then we did the one interview with you and you're just like, ah, hell! I was, uh, that makes me sound like the antithesis of your character. That and the, th the, the the greatest thing about the whole like promo and the match thing is that like when it came down to like going into the promos in the match, you had no idea what the fuck you were doing. Of course not. <laughs> and that's what made it hilarious. And My it only exposure to anything wrestling was pipe bomb. Charles Manson Punk sitting down on the stage. Hello everyone. Um, so this bit here was supposed to be more video but my camera had decided to glitch out and delete this part of the video so I'll go over this kinda quick um, so mainly we watched the uh, old promo for uh, the battle for leadership and then we talked about it for a little bit mainly more about how bad our uh, um, promo work was and how depressingly evil my character was and how over the top Ricky Joe was and then we carried on into the match and talked about it as well talked about some highlights and everything uh, mainly uh, the fact that this match the battle for leadership was the sole reason why Taylor Riley has now uh, never-ending everlasting spinal and rib pain because of the uh, double body splash that he got underneath at least 400 pounds of weight and then after that we kind of I guess just discussed the outcome of the match and my kind of dumb quote-unquote retirement angle and then we carried on into some of the uh, cringiness that is the revenge match promo and then the revenge match itself as we also moved on to that and watched it and some of the com comedic effect in that match and some of the uh, parts that were taken out and after I'm done recording this we're going to be discussing uh, some bits that I tried to pick up where we last left off and right now will be where we picked up right about now to kind of give uh, a bit of an idea uh, we're going into the part where um, Ricky Joe had also 
decided to create storyline ideas without discussing it with us before the match so that was very confusing at the time and on top of that like we had a small discussion about how horrific the revenge match was because of their um, lack of knowledge when it comes to wrestling maneuvers on a rocked gravel surface so we'll have video Mike and Taylor take it from here I do apologize for the um, audio video glitch on the corruption that happened but hopefully this will not happen again and three two one so I don't know where that had cut off but I guess we'll figure it out as we go um, in case there's anything we missed ideas were being explained to us after the whole thing was recorded. Yeah. You said, let me come up with some dialogue and not just tell them about it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, like, that's that was one thing that I, I actually enjoyed later on in RDW because I actually discussed ideas with people and everything, like, the whole thing with, like, Casey and whatnot, but, like... Like, when we would be off script? It... Like, when, like I mean, we would be off script, but, like, we would still stay on the line of, like, what the story was. Um, but, yeah, that, that was going to lead into a, a dual axis versus... Uh, MEM tag team match, Ooh. which was going to be you and Christian versus me and Ricky. Thinking about that now, we would have gotten crushed. Yes, sir. Uh, but of course, that never happened because we could never get Christian to come back down because he's living in Kansas City. After that, it just that cut those that story kind of just died out unfinished. Some might say fizzled. Yeah, more like it like got put out by a fucking cup of water for how bad that match was, actually, if yeah. you actually watch the whole thing. There's like a whole like fucking 15 minute segment of just you guys circling each other like fucking sharks. Like right. he's busting out rhymes like poontang and penises oh. and gay jokes and bisexual jokes and everything. Jo John Cena jokes and I dab one with the bang! Quite frankly, um, that wasn't the first time we tried to get something going because about a year later we tried to create our own wrestling show after that called the MTUW. Did well, we? MTUW or like the B MT or MBUW. We tried to create like a whole like wrestling show with like you, me, and like Ricky and a couple other friends that wanted to be in it. We actually had a notebook that had all like the segments written out and like theme songs picked and everything. We're getting into territory I legitimately do not remember. I remember sitting at the gas station by the high school and writing these ideas down with you, me, and Ricky after school. We actually did this. Well, that's fine. They had to, I just don't remember it. <laughs> like, you're going to be like some... What I remember about the gas station is eating Cheetos hot fries and <laughs> drinking a Dr. Pepper. How about Munchos? I did not like Munchos. And I still do not like them very much. Is it because we force fed them to you? It's because they they're a nasty potato chip. Get fucked. Oh, <laughs> man. But yeah, like, we were trying to make our own show and everything. You were going to play two characters. I was going to play two characters. It seems like every time we start anything, I want to play two characters. What does that say about me? I don't know. You were going to play like the businessman leader and then the wrestler. A businessman! I was, was going to do the same thing. Like a... Like a, a, a a manager and a wrestler, mm -hmm. but it never came. But you me. never managed to wrestle. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, kill my crack myself uh. up. <laughs> Way to segue off of a normal comment you would say from back in 2017. Good God. Uh, uh, but yeah, um, after that, after the MTUW stuff and the revenge match, everything just kind of fiddled out when it came to wrestling. Until 2015. <sighs> but, we will talk about 2015 when we get there. Any last final comments on the, the Creek Battles? No. None? Let's leave them in the past Leave now. them in the past now? You think that it's yes. it's it's done, it's dead? We put the book in. We, we've beaten it like a dead horse now at this point? Yeah, I mean, you talk about it every single time you start wrestling. You know? I mean, because that's where, like, like, we're, like that's that's where the uh, that's where I feel like the idea came from. Yeah, it's fine. Like, it's not. It's where the idea came from, but I didn't really 
think about it until like years later, and then I realized this is what I wanted to do back then. But I never actually slapped the name on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyways, next time you shall see us discussing about the RDW history. Uh, we will be talking about the early days of RDW, which is mainly just us doing random matches up to the point of the uh, tendership match between me and Cosmos. And then right after that, Cosmos' burial against Bam, uh, Bam Flesner. We will get to that when we get to that. But this is Mike Check 95 along with my very confused looking cohort right now. Harvey Beard yet? <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about? Did nope. you? <laughs> I'm going to have to f find a way to summarize the early days because it's not going to be two matches. It's going to be more than one, but I'll find a way to like somehow summarize it. It might just be more of a discussion. But we are signing out on the Creek Battles, and we will never speak of them again. Tuberculosis, Florida. In the ground. Skunk smell. In my veins. You don't have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs>